Have you ever wondered what it might be like to climb a volcano? Well, I sure did, and so curiosity got the best of me, and I found my way up Volcan de Acatenango. Here's a little taste of the journey. I've spent the last uh, eight weeks here in Guatemala, mostly in Lecatitlan, but recently Antigua. And I have been staring in awe and reverence at the majesty and the wonder of the many volcanoes here. Uh, specifically Fuego, a volcano that is active. Not quite sure I want to climb an active volcano, but Acatenango, right beside, and you get to experience the activity uh, and the wonder of Fuego. Like a moth to a flame, I was drawn to that fire. <laughs> Check out this view! Wow! So, somewhere below base camp, <laughs> here on the volcano, the climb is getting tougher and tougher as we get higher in altitude and as my future leaning mind <laughs> starts to think, are we there yet? Are we there yet? What is it going to be like when we get there? <sighs> Reminding myself to be in the unknown right now. We moved through about 10 different biospheres or ecosystems. In short, we climbed about 1,500 meters and about 10 kilometers up. So hiking was very difficult. I think I fell on my ass many times. <laughs> I kind of wish I had it on film, actually. <laughs> right, we made it to base camp here on Volcan de Acatenango. Best seat in the house. <laughs> Too bad there's not much of a view right now. <laughs> We're in the clouds. So we're gonna camp out here tonight, and then in the morning, like early, about 4.30, we're gonna depart and uh, try to make it to the summit for sunrise where we'll be able to view uh, Fuego, the volcano. I'm feeling tired, my legs are tired, but also feeling really, really great. What a day! <laughs> ah, Fuego. So here at base camp, the clouds or the fog has just lifted and we can see Fuego, the sister volcano, is uh, she's blowing some smoke. In Volcan de Fuego, I saw and I witnessed and I felt Shakti, that pure creative energy. It's always churning. And when we allow it, that creative energy comes out. And yes, some might see that creative energy as destructive. And yes, all creation comes at the tales of destruction. All creation is destruction. All destruction is the possibility for creation. And I saw this in Fuego and I felt this in myself. And sit with that energy and that realization and to share that energy with Fuego, to share that understanding is something that I will take with me always. It's like Fuego's right here. The sun is about to set over what looks like the horizon, but it's not actually the horizon, it's the clouds. <laughs> The sun is about to set over the clouds and Fuego here has just been erupting non-stop for hours. 
to hear and feel her energy is... <laughs> there are no words. <laughs> The energy of this place is profound. <laughs> I was kind of in and out of sleep all night, um, kind of feeling the cold, but then it, feeling the proximity of Fuego's fire, hearing her <sighs> eruptions all night long. Um, and I was okay with not sleeping that much. To be there and experience that was everything. Good morning. <laughs> Buenos dias. It's about 4 a.m. and uh, we're going to leave soon to hike up to the summit of Acatenango and check out Fuego for sunrise. And she's been uh, talking to us all night. <laughs> What I see as a mindfulness practice, a walking meditation, a moving meditation up to the summit of Volcan de Acatenango. I noticed a few times where my mind would start leaning towards the future. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? What's it going to be like at the top? Or leaning towards the past, you know, old thought patterns, old loops coming up. And in those moments where I was either here or here, I would lose my footing. These moments served as a really powerful zen slap <laughs> or a bell of mindfulness because a misstep in that circumstance might have meant injury or death. A really, really strong reminder to draw myself back to the present moment and be so aware of each step, so aware of my surroundings and so aware of my own body mind in this moment. that moment sitting at the summit of Volcan de Acatenango, welcoming the rising sun and the fading stars and moonlight twinkling in the sky above and the lights of the city twinkling way down below and then a thin layer of cloud and volcanoes cresting above that layer of cloud. And in that moment, I felt neither of this earth nor of the cosmos. There was a moment of nothingness, of simply being. Whether your work is to travel the world and climb a volcano in the physical manifest realm, or perhaps your work is to climb a volcano within, to uh, face your inner fires and to ascend, descend, ascend, descend, and move through it all. <laughs> My hope for you is that you continue to breathe well, to play well, and to be well. Aho, namaste.